Hey sugars, it's Kenny. Thanks for visiting my channel. Today I am in Magnolia Promenade and I'm building a retail space. So it ends up being five separate retail um, spaces, but they're not, I don't decorate them in this video because I need help. I need help from you guys to figure out what I should put in these areas. These I'm going to keep saying spaces. I want to say something else, but it's, it's a retail space. Okay. Um, they, I do the exteriors of each one. I didn't really like add any, I didn't really add too much to the exterior, but I gave them all, um, signs and I put the, you know, wallpaper and everything on them. So they're basically done on the outside, it's just the inside that needs love. In this video, I will do, um, a cafe and a restaurant in the back because I wanted to fill up this, um, you know, the lot. And I was thinking about doing another strip of retail spaces on the back, but girl, how many retail spaces can you create in The Sims, okay? Like when I think of them, I think that you can do an electronics store. If you want, you can combine that with a music store or you can have a separate music store, which I kind of was thinking this one was gonna be a music space like sell um, guitars and pianos it's not a big space but I was that's what I was thinking but I also put a little outside thing here so I'm like maybe it could be a restaurant I don't know I need help with what they should be um but yeah you can do a retail store you can do what am I talking about <laughs> you can do an electronic store you could do a music store you can do a clothing store you could do a kid's store but the thing is with the clothing you know the sims they only allow you to do so many mannequins so if i wanted these all to be boutiques i probably could just do some mannequins in the front and put some decor clothing around but you know your sims can't actually buy that stuff so you know i don't know I'm probably going to put a poll. I did on my Twitter put out, you know, somebody, I'm just asking you guys to help me, but sometimes people don't respond on my Twitter. So we're going to see what I get from my fellow simmers and hopefully I can get some good ideas. If not, I'm going to just try some stuff out. I started building this like weeks ago. I don't even know how long it's been, but I like how it came out. The look is really nice. I was struggling right here with these steps because they kept moving and it was stressing me out. So if you're paying attention to the video, you're going to see me moving those. I think a couple more times. I won't even lie to you. Hopefully I don't, but I remember while I was building, I moved them things a few times. So like I said, I put, um, signs on each of the spaces this one i was thinking would be like i could make it into a spa if you want me to be honest or like a yoga studio i i just felt it was something like very feminine and girly so uh originally i was like this probably could be a um, wedding shop like a wedding dress shop or even a flower shop but i don't know so this is me just jumping this is today <laughs> I just did this and it's going to be me finishing up the retail spaces and also building my cafe and restaurant in the back. So you'll see me actually decorating something, but the the restaurant in the back is not that like, it's not very decorated and I like how it looks. So it's even with that, you're gonna be like, girl, there's not no decoration. And right here, I have the same sign that the first door has. So I ended up moving it, but I wanted to put some windows here and it just wasn't looking right. So I said, forget that. And then you're going to see me notice that I have the same sign. So I end up changing it. This right here with the little monkey sign. I was thinking that's going to be a, um, like a Best Buy type of store. It's going to have computers and all that good stuff. But I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. In the back of this, I ended up putting a space where i can have uh yeah i was gonna <laughs> i was gonna copy and paste another space like i said but i'm like girl that's a lot relax so i put out some dumpsters for the stores because obviously they'll need that and then i also put these um what are they called stalls food stalls so that mm, you'll have to hire them but just give your sim the money back and then they can eat here if they don't want to go into the restaurant 
the restaurant is a small space but if you do have this lot set as a restaurant of course every single table that you have down the sims will sit at so you'll have your your uh, waiters and waitresses running baby so i tried to keep the tables not too far from the restaurant i don't think i'll put any tables in front of the lot because <laughs> i don't want to have my sim stressing that's not nice so I didn't want to do too much decor I'm not great with landscape if you haven't watched any of my videos I probably say it in every single video but I wanted it to look nice it is moving kind of fast I'm sorry I won't have any screenshots at the end because baby I'm not finished so I um yeah you're gonna have to <laughs> you're gonna have to believe what you see girl I don't know what I'm talking about but I wanted this to be like a complete lot i wanted there to be a lot of things for your sims to do when it comes to spending money and i think i did well with that i don't know what the other lots in magnolia promenade will be i feel like i have to have a park i have to put a park somewhere um because i don't know i think you gotta give your sims a space to just chill and enjoy each other's company after they spend all their money right <laughs> I don't know but yeah or at least a spot for the kids so they can get tired before they go home and they can fall asleep in the car yeah if we had cars in the game right so there's an airplane I feel like at this time of day people just be flying and you can hear it in my videos and I hate it So in this part, I just did the exterior of the restaurant. Um, I do, like I said, go and finish that. And this is the cafe. And the cafe, I was actually going to do like a um, food truck. I was going to make it look like a food truck. But then I was like, mm, I don't know. So as you can see, I use these. Um, R I think they're RV. Uh, I don't even know what pack that is. I might have to look it up if you want me to. I can but I think they're RV windows. So I was going to make it look like a food truck, but then I was like, I kind of like this like um, mini cafe type of look. I don't know, but I put some seating on the outside and the inside underneath just in case, you know, it's not rain or something. You want to just get your coffee and wait for the rain to slow down before you leave. I don't know y'all. Cause it's a very outdoorsy lot. And this is like Willow Creek, um, climate so you will have winter which they be having a, a real winter in louisiana because i thought that's what willow creek was based off of and that is the south and they're by water so my sims be dealing with snow in willow creek and i don't know i don't know about louisiana that much so maybe they do have a real winter so i was trying to do like a little green grass space but i wanted it to blend with the inside and it just that that didn't look right so i ended up deleting that a little tile it looked right there i didn't like how it looked it just wasn't fitting so i just wanted this to look like a little spot for your sims and maybe a couple friends to come and chill while they while they drink their coffee and teas and stuff i had to find something to put on this table which was a couple magazines and I wanted this area to be fenced in. Why? I don't have a good explanation. I just felt like it didn't feel complete. Like it's just some random tables outside. So I was like, let me put a fence around this to make it look like a complete space. Had to put a sign. Um, I also put some, well, a sign on the inside. I don't even know what you would call this place. A lot of these signs are trash. I need more signs. I need to probably find some more CC signs because I don't like the ones that come with the packs, to be honest. But yeah, this little cafe came out cute. I copied uh, Ocean Sims, a little idea to put the aprons on the wall that made a lot of sense. And I used the Ravishine's register because you could put it, I think you could put it anywhere, like on a table. I, let me not quote, let me not say that because I could be wrong, but I think you can. Um, this obviously is the restaurant and it's a small space so um, it's only four tables but it only sits two people at each table so it's not going to be like families coming here unless they want to sit outside 
because they can also do that when you put this as a uh, restaurant lot. Um, I'm almost done with the video, so enjoy this. Uh, again, thank you so much for visiting my channel. Let me know what else I should put on this lot and chat with me in the comments and I will chat with you. Girl, what am I saying? <laughs> but anyway, I'll chat with you in my next video. Bye.